Hello and welcome, it's me Martin. Today I'm behind the camera um, and what I'm going to be doing today is demonstrating how you can use timelines with your students so that they can better understand and conceptualise the grammar that you're trying to teach them. So what do you need when it comes down to timelines? Well, I would recommend a variety of different colours with board markers. Today I'm going to be using these Sharpies um, and they're different colours. But if you have a board marker for your whiteboard and perhaps a mini whiteboard, then different colours of board markers will help you when it comes down to timelines. That's all you need. Okay, when it comes down to any timeline, you just need to draw a horizontal line, place three marks, and name them. Past, present, and future. That's all you need to do. First step, very simple. Next thing, try and write an example sentence, okay? So we're going to use the past simple as an example. Okay, so I drank a coffee. I get my students, I ask them, does this happen in the past, the present or the future? Before the present or after the present? I say before and I say, well, yeah. Obviously, you can use a time marker, so yesterday. Okay, so I drank a coffee yesterday. That's the past simple. Another thing, repeated action in the past. And so this one, let's change the color. So this one here, I drank a coffee every day last week. Still the past simple, but every day last week. Boom, repeated action. And that's the past simple. Simple enough. Our next one is the past continuous. Again, same principle, horizontal line, three points, and the same example sentence. And usually there's a second clause here. And I ask my students, which is longer? Drinking coffee or phone? Yeah, ring, ring. Which one is longer? I would say, well, drinking coffee, that's the action which is longer. And I say, well, she phoned me. Is it before this action, drinking coffee? Is it after or is it during? He said, well, during. And you can name the action as it is. Again, it's a demonstration of there are two things that are happening, drinking coffee in the past and someone calling me, someone phoning me. Let's have a look at the past perfect. Again, very similar to the past continuous when it comes down to past perfect simple there are usually two actions happening i had drunk a coffee and then there's an action afterwards and then i say to my students did i finish my coffee or did i still continue drinking after i had drunk a coffee by the time she called me and that's the past perfect simple very easy to demonstrate with a timeline you don't need to try and explain it too complicated and the students get to understand it quite easily. So here I've got the past perfect continuous. Same thing again. Okay, so past perfect continuous. I had been drinking a coffee for 10 minutes until she called me. Drinking a coffee, she called me. I asked my students, how long is this? They say 10 minutes. Did she call me before I drink or after I drink the coffee? Ah, it's after. We have the past perfect continuous form, we have the past perfect simple form, we have the past continuous form and the past simple form. Okay, so all four forms in the past and we finished it. We're going to move on to the present form now and let's see how we get on. And this example sentence is, I drink coffee every day. I ask my students, every day, 
do I drink coffee in the past? I would expect them to say yes. So I go, okay. Did I drink coffee last week? They say yes. Yesterday? Yes. Did I drink coffee today? Yes. So we continue into the future. And it's a repeated action. Okay, so present simple, repeated action. It is very easy to comprehend for students when they see something visually like this. Now we have our example sentence. So I am drinking a coffee. I ask my students, when did I start? Is it in the past, the present or the future? They say the past, okay, I started in the past. When do I finish? Do I finish now? Do I finish in the future? They say in the future, boom. So we have our timeline there. And then we describe it. Very simple, very easy to understand. And that's present continuous. So present, perfect, simple. Something starts in the past and ends just before, and it has an effect now. Okay, so do I want a coffee now? That's what I tend to ask my students. No, I don't want a coffee now because I've drank a coffee, okay? So that's the present perfect simple. So I tell the students it starts in the past, ends around now with a possibility that it will continue in the future. I usually demonstrate this sentence as I have been painting my room for an hour. Have I finished? No, I've not. Will I continue? Yes, I will. And that's the present perfect continuous. And then I tend to try and demonstrate the difference between a completed action with the present perfect simple and an incomplete action with the present perfect continuous. And so we're over halfway there. We've got the past, we've got the present, now it's the future forms that we're going to be looking at. Okay, so when it comes down to the future, again, much like the past and the present, we have future simple. And we also include the example sentence. Okay, then I say, okay, is it in the past, is it in the present, or is it in the future? Tomorrow, future, okay, so when? Around here, yeah? Drink coffee, yeah, very simple, very easy. So one down, three to go. It's just simple continuous. And then we use the example sentence as well. Which one is longer, drinking a coffee or arriving? And drinking a coffee is longer, so. And arrive, she arrives. When does she arrive, is it before? Is it after or during? I ask my students and they say, in the middle, yeah, I'll be drinking a coffee when she arrives. Easy, easy peasy. Okay, so that's future simple continuous, two down, two remaining. Again, two different actions, two different clauses, and one action after the other. So drink a coffee. I will have drunk a coffee here. And she arrives, is it before drinking coffee or is it after? They say after. So I will have drunk a coffee when she arrives. Do I finish my coffee? Yes. So that's future perfect simple forms. Now our final one is future perfect continuous. Same timeline, just like all 11 before. And our example sentence. Okay, so. That's our example. And here we have, I will have been drinking a coffee when she arrives. As with all other timelines, we have drink coffee and she arrives after this. I will have been drinking a coffee for two hours when she arrives possibly. Simple. And that is the last timeline. So with every timeline, you can use an example of the grammar and the way it's used and how it's used. And that's the best way to demonstrate grammar forms. We have so many timelines. Um, if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to hit that like button and also let me know in the comments what is your favourite timeline and how do you use them? How do you use them as students and um, try and practice these timelines, get to know them and how they're used and this will also help you understand a bit more about the grammar and how things are used in English. Take care, stay safe, happy teaching, bye bye.